A new technology known as Emotive could be a breakthrough in minimizing deaths due to bleeding while giving birth. Now, this is according to a study published recently in the New England Journal of Medicine. But to tell us more about this, I'm now joined by Emeritus Professor in the Obstetrics and Gynecology Department at the University of Cape Town, Sue Focus. Thank you so much, Sue, for your time and good morning to you. I think let's uh, start with the numbers, the stats. I mean, when we look at women and some of the fatalities, just after childbirth, what are the numbers, not only in the country, but also globally? Okay, well, good morning, everyone, and thank you for having me on the program. Yeah, in terms of um, maternal deaths, that is women dying after childbirth from hemorrhage, it accounts for about 70,000 women every year. And it's actually the, the biggest cause of women dying. And in a way, if you look at it carefully, it means that every six minutes, one woman is dying from hemorrhage. Um, and the problem about these deaths is not, not only it's an absolute catastrophe, but that they're mostly preventable. For example, in South Africa, um, we have about 180 women who die every year from postpartum hemorrhage. And I have the job on um, the inquiry into maternal deaths of looking through them all. And 90% are actually avoidable. So um, it's not only a, a common cause of maternal death, but it's a very preventable one. Um, and that's why this emotive is, is so important because it's a way of actually trying to reduce mm. women getting severe bleeding. Yeah, and I understand, Sue, so we also see these numbers uh, in low to middle income countries, especially if we look at yes. Africa. This is significant yes. because, I mean, these are countries with either, you know, very expensive uh, resources or where blood is very scarce. Yes. yes, absolutely. And often where women, you know, don't have adequate nutrition, mm. many of the women may be anemic, and so they're much more at risk of um, the bad consequences from bleeding. So if you can really pick it up early and reduce it, it becoming severe, you're going to save a lot of women and that, that actually will save families because as we know, women are, the, are, are vital for the family. Yeah, and, and is that a problem, uh, Sue, in terms of late detections? Is that what we see oftentimes, uh, that yes. PPH is so, often detected very late? Yes. Yes, and that's the problem. You see, we, we, we teach everyone in medical school and nursing school that a PPH occurs when the blood loss is more than a litre, more than half a litre. But we actually have no way of accurately measuring it. And so people just look at it and visually estimate it. And we've now can see that that is grossly incorrect. Mm. Um, and in fact, in this study, we found that without having an accurate way of measuring it with the drape that was used during the study, um, health workers were missing 50% of PPHs. Once this drape was used, which is a plastic drape that goes under the woman as she gives birth, it picked up PPH uh, by 93%. Mm. So just by a simple thing like a plastic drape, you can identify these women much earlier and then um, give them the treatment they need sooner. Yeah, and let's talk about Emotive. Take me through this uh, new solution and how it's groundbreaking. Yes. Uh, just also, I mean, I suppose in terms of providing uh, a reduction in deaths, because we're seeing more fatalities. Yes. You said 70,000, that's a big number. Uh, but it seems like this uh, new solution could actually take that number down. Yes. Well, the, um, the idea for Emotive came from World Health Organization, and the research was organized by University of Birmingham and funded by the Gates Foundation. And in South Africa, three provinces were involved, uh, Western Cape, Eastern Cape, and KZN. And the essential feature of Emotive, the E stands for early detection. So every woman had a, had a plastic drape underneath her as she gave birth, immediately it got to half a litre um, action was taken. And the motive stands for um, a, a five things that were all done together. Often treatment is rather slow and done in sequence. So, you know, one thing's done and if that doesn't work, another thing's done. And with um, motive, all five things are done together. So it's massage of the womb, drugs which contract the womb or stop the bleeding, um, a, a drip that will maintain circulation, 
and the E stands for examination, um, so that you can actually see what is the cause of the bleeding. And these five things can all be done by midwives. They're all simple. The drugs are all available and just doing them close together and immediately the blood loss is 500 mils saves time and saving time with hemorrhage actually saves lives. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 so with that being said, I mean, how important is raising awareness around not only emotive as a solution, but also PPH? I mean, when it comes to both uh, the pregnant women and also the midwives, our nurses, I I I'm sure, you know, constant conversation and education about this and awareness really is important. Yes, I agree with you completely. And I think, you know, sadly, often maternal health uh, it is a bit neglected and not so sort of high on the agenda um, because, you know, women have been having, giving birth and having complications mm. for sort of years in, years out. And I think raising the awareness is very important, you know, for women themselves um, uh, in terms of access to facilities and also for every single healthcare worker, planner, administrator to make sure that the services can deal with women. Yeah. Um, both to prevent hemorrhage and, and to treat it quickly. And these things actually aren't difficult, but they do need good organization of the health service and, and good leadership and training. Yeah, absolutely. And I appreciate you, of course, speaking to us right here on ENC about this. So important uh, having this conversation with you. Professor Sue Focus, thank you from the UCT Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology.